Okay, we ready? Are we doing this? Huh? Did you, did you take your pills? No, I, well, I knew it. Anyway, hey everybody, um, this is our latest update. I haven't talked to you for about a month, and um, uh, there's been a flurry of activity, especially of late, and just kind of want to give you an update on some of that. Um, I think the most significant is the most recent, um, Annika. The, uh, the two big things were speaking at Open Door two Sundays in a row, which was uh, just wonderful. I, I, I like that a lot. I love being able to, to be with them and uh, and the message team and stay in the same flow, in the same text that they're in. I just take the next one and that was great. And, and the second week worked out where I actually did something with Tom Johnson. If you were there, you saw it. And uh, we're providing links to both of those talks if you're interested in um, you know hearing. And I, I think it was the second talk I started drooling, didn't I? Yeah, well, you are really I old, so. I know, I'm really old. I'm at that stage. So anyway, um, no, but it was it was just wonderful. I love just even the thought of helping Dave when he's taking a break, a much needed break, to be able to you know, fill in, in in a way like that, and just being home. It just feels so. <laughs> I just feel so at home there, and um, that yeah, that um, I love the text, and and I I connect some dots, and um, I I still feel like there's something to say, and. Um, that's a group that, I don't know why, a bunch of idiots listen to me. Ha! <laughs> anyway, so um, the, thing, the thing that was wild, though, is I spoke on Sunday, and then on Monday I left for our latest uh, Not So Silent retreat, and then came back Thursday, and on Sunday I, I, I did that thing with Tom. So that was a, there was some excitement in terms of being way out of my comfort zone relative to prep, because I'm kind of... Uh, can you say anal retentive on these? Obsessive. <laughs> Obsessive. That's yeah. the word about prep and not having every word down. And and so it was really, uh, I remember meeting with Tom beforehand and we were just saying, man, let's just take a swing at this because we both knew thematically what we wanted to talk about. So that was a, really a lot of fun to do that with Tom. And he gave me a lot of, <laughs> gave me a lot of room to get in trouble, <laughs> but I don't think I got in too much, maybe a little. Um, Anyway, that was just wonderful. And the retreat, you guys, um, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. It just continues to um, happen in really significant ways. It continues to be affirmed that we, we don't want more than 10. Um, and then I'm 11, maybe one other guy, uh, but never, never more than that. The size uh, of that group uh, is significant in terms of what actually we're able to do. Uh, I don't want it to get bigger. And I... Um, it's weird because I I don't mind big things um, and I love to speak, but there's that's not my thing right now. It really even even some of the fathering stuff uh, that I feel like God asked me to step into years ago uh, shows up on these retreats more than they could in other environments. So anyway, that's just continued to be good. And, and one thing that we've done over the last two retreats because of Ned's uh, accident, uh, I've, I've looked for people who could come in and hold, I, don't, I think I explained this last time, but, but Ned kind of held this space spiritually that I didn't know who else could. So on the last retreat, I asked Tom Johnson to come. Because he can, I, I just, and Tom, you've never been on a retreat with me or you don't know what we do, but I want you to just read the room. I want you to take, pay attention to what you think the Spirit of God is doing. And, and then we're going to move into ministry when we sense something like that is appropriate. And this time I brought um, a, an old friend of mine named Mike Paschal. Mike Paschal goes back to um, uh, Dave, Dave Busby. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Busby days and a dear, dear friend. And having him there, and, and, but, but especially in, in the context of ministry, and watching his his gifting in this arena come alive and and partnering with him relative to what he was seeing bubble up uh, among the guys and where we went to in ministry was just it was an incredible thing and um, just really excited about that. So that's the report. Uh, it's a good report. Um, pray with us about what's next. Um, we're we're not. I need a breather for July. We have got some vacation stuff with family and things like that. But I just want to exhale a bit. And uh, but we're looking at August and or September uh, for the next retreat. 
and um, it's just always interesting who comes and and how we make the list. And after a retreat, I, I would just tell Annika that, that I, I the guys all tell me, man, you'd have so many people will come. They'll all say yes. And after every retreat, I go, I don't know who to ask. Nobody's left. There's nobody <laughs> in the whole world want to come. So. Just about, it does matter who, because uh, the, the mixture of even their desire and who they are and stuff like that. So pray with us about that discernment. Um, we, It's our second time in this new place, Northwoods YWAM, uh, with Leisha and Troy. I think I got that wrong. <laughs> anyway, uh, our, they're, our, they're our hosts. They, they run the YWAM base there, and it's a, it's a base that's been converted to... Uh, a retreat center for pastors and it's just it's working out really well yeah. and everybody's got their own room which is really important for what we're trying to do relative to silence and solitude and so this is our second time doing that but um, pray about the next retreats coming up I think this is a thing I think we're gonna keep doing mm -hmm. it and as long as I have breath we're gonna keep doing it mm -hmm. um, want to finish the videos some of you have asked about the what in God's name thing and I think there's some more to do. I want to unpack a little bit more some of the power over power under dynamics. And then we'll go on to something else. I'm wondering about um, writing as well. I, I Part of why I wanted to do these videos, if you remember, Annika, mm -hmm. was to kind of loosen my, my head a little bit, stay in my lane, as it were. When I wrote, it, I, 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 I was really just getting stuck. So I think... These videos help me to, kind of, and by my lane, I mean stay in the text yeah. and then connect the dots to things that are going on in the church and in the world um, and not start with things that are going on in the world and then come back to the text. My lane is reflected in these videos. And now I'm, I'm looking back at some things I've written that I thought was garbage and I'm going, mm, it's not that bad. So anyway, <laughs> I'm just wondering about that. You can pray about that. Uh, thanks for your support, uh, your prayer support. Thanks for your interest. Thanks for just watching this goofy thing. And um, I, we appreciate your giving. Um, I'm, the, the guys are blown away when I tell them now, yeah, you can't. I know you couldn't come, but there's people here who care that you're here. That's why this costs nothing. And um, uh, just thank you for giving. And I we encourage you to give when you can. And... Um, I think it matters and we're very, very grateful. See you in a bit.